The picturesque South African town of Otsuern is world-renowned for its ostrich industry, the world-class tourist attraction of the Kango Caves, and more recently for the Klein Karoo National Arts Festival as an annual cultural activity magnet, drawing tens of thousands of visitors every year. The area with its unique natural beauty is situated in the Choritz Cluster Biosphere Reserve and boasts sunshine all year round. The provincial government study of the growth potential of towns identified Otsuern as one of the leading towns in the province with a very high growth potential and as a regional centre. The municipality of Otsuern, consisting of the town of Otsuern and the two smaller nearby settlements of Deseldorp and De Rust, is located in the centre of the Klein Karoo in the Western Cape province of South Africa. Otsuern is situated about 60 kilometres from George, 82 kilometres from Mossel Bay, 460 kilometres from Cape Town and 384 kilometres from Port Elizabeth. High quality roads link Otsuern with George in the south, Beaufort West in the north and the rest of the Klein Karoo in an easterly-westerly direction. Otsuern became world famous as a globally prominent ostrich farming center in the 1880s. Although the glamorous heyday of ostrich farming has long gone, it remains the area's main agricultural focus and a major tourist draw card. Looking at Otsuern's profile, the total population in the area numbered 85,000 in 2001, expanding to 98,000 in 2011. This implies a relatively low net population growth rate of 1.1% per annum. Its economy is one of the largest in the district, with a gross regional product of 2.5 billion rand and an annual growth rate of about 2%. It is estimated that 58% of the labor force is in formal employment, while the other 42% can be broken down into 24% engaged in informal sector activities and 18% unemployed. Looking at these and other development dynamics of Otsuen, a complex and in some ways contradictory picture emerges. On the one hand, we have a medium-sized rural town, far away from major metropolitan areas with a more or less stagnant population and economic growth. Moreover, the area's high rate of unemployment and poverty adds to this challenging picture. On the other hand, we have a rural centre with a rich history, an increasingly diverse population, close relationships with other towns in the region, a few exceptionally strong subsectors, and the potential for close public-private partnerships in proactive development efforts. Against this unique background, the town stands at a threshold of economic growth and challenges in equal measure. In order to deal with these challenges, a visionary investment plan was developed to pave the way towards achieving meaningful economic impact. To strengthen this intervention, the municipality now also facilitates the development of a long-term strategic vision known as the 2030 vision to guide decision-making with the focus on economic growth and regeneration of previously disadvantaged areas. In developing the investment plan, the municipality embarked on an extensive ward-based community participation process and stakeholder engagement. Momentum has been gathered amongst community members and organizations to work together to realize Greater Otsuern's full potential. Through this consultation process, the following seven strategic economic sectors were identified. A knowledge economy, a tourism economy, an infrastructure economy, an agricultural economy, a regional industrial economy, an arts and culture economy, and a town which advances good governance and social development. Interventions within these sectors must be underpinned by a vision statement that encapsulates all expectations. We propose the following 2030 vision. Greater Otsuern, a town where you can work, learn, play and prosper. In this regard, the Otsuan Municipality now invites you to actively participate in the ongoing process to explore the emerging landscape of the future. One of the central tasks of leadership is the creation of sustainable value for stakeholders. And at the core of value creation is the ability to innovate and to implement new solutions before and faster than anybody else. In this regard, potential projects in each economic sector have been identified. We believe that these projects present huge opportunities to investors through public-private partnerships. Knowledge Economy 
Currently, the town hosts different national and international training schools. The aim is to invest and expand the South African Police Service Training Center, the Further Education and Training College and the South African National Defense Force Infantry School. There is also the potential to establish additional training centers, including a teacher training institute, an arts academy, a national disaster management training center and a new academic hospital. The town also has an aviation training college that currently trains Chinese students with the potential to be expanded to other nationalities. A new international sports academy will be established, positioning Otsuan as the sports mecca in the region. These facilities will provide numerous job and SMME opportunities through the provision of services and products. At present, the training component contributes 300 million rand per annum to the GDP of the town. With the implementation of these projects, it could grow to 500 million. In addition, training facilities could be cost beneficial to local residents as they would have access to these facilities. The resulting social impact on communities can be substantial if one considers the ensuing thrust in skills development. Tourism economy one of the main sectors of the economy is tourism, creating 34% of employment opportunities. Otsuan offers numerous high-quality accommodation facilities to suit any tourist or business traveler's needs. The main tourist attractions are the Kango Caves and the Ostrich Show Farms. Possibilities exist to upgrade these destinations to attract and accommodate even more visitors. Religion tourism in the Dasseldorp area presents huge opportunities. In addition, improvements to the Swat Pass, renovating the Kango Mountain Resort into a five-star entertainment water sports center and initiatives such as a Khoisan village at the Kango Caves, cable skiing at a water park and a new luxury wildlife park will not only attract more visitors but will also encourage them to extend their stay. Infrastructure Economy Infrastructure development will be a catalyst for economic growth and development. The Neighbourhood Development Partnership Grant focuses on the upgrading and regeneration of 13 nodes, specifically in the previously disadvantaged areas. This program focuses on the provision of housing, beautification, construction of road and stormwater infrastructure, electrification and the upgrading of public transport. The projects will be implemented on the principles of the expanded public works program that creates opportunities for small contract to development and temporary employment creation. Additional focus areas within the sector will include a new rental housing project, water resource development, a solar water heater initiative and the creation of a modern public transport network. A vast reservoir of underground water has recently been discovered in the area and investigations revealed a high volume of water that could provide for generations to come. Another key component of sustainable business, namely information technology, will provide priority attention to ensure the availability of the highest quality of IT. Agricultural Economy with a large agricultural base, we will explore opportunities to diversify this industry. Currently, ostrich farming is the dominant activity but has a high operational risk. It is necessary to invest in other agricultural practices such as hydroponics and tunnel farming of flowers and vegetables, biofuel and the aloe industry as this would lessen the dependence on one sector and minimize risk. Value-adding initiatives such as agri-processing facilities will be identified. There is also the opportunity to expand the National Agricultural Laboratory to include commodities other than ostriches. It is believed that the implementation of the Comprehensive Rural Development Program in Dasseldorp and other rural areas will transform the sector. The export of commodities also presents big opportunities. Finally, we mention that the town has adopted an incentive scheme, giving rebates to new and startup companies relocating to this municipal area. Regional Industrial Economy as mentioned, Otuan's location is central to the Karoo and Garden Route area and this provides opportunities for a regional and national distribution hub of products in close proximity of an airport and harbour. The conversion of the local airport to a cargo airport would also aid in the exporting of locally manufactured produce. In addition, the establishment of a special economic zone will add value to the establishment of small-scale manufacturing and wholesale businesses. Another initiative will be the establishment of the area as agri-processing zone. Employment and investment opportunities in this sector could also be created in the construction of a regional mall and various retail centers in previously disadvantaged areas. 
Together with the before mentioned, green initiatives such as a waste into energy recycling plant will receive attention. Arts and Culture Economy Otsuan has an established culture of arts and sports festivals, bringing many visitors to the area. It can therefore be promoted as the hub of arts and culture in the country. Current festivals such as the Klenkaru National Arts Festival and National Sports Festival should be strengthened and new events such as classical music, extreme sports and culture festivals should be considered. A project to revamp and renovate the main tourist route through the town will provide opportunities for craft markets and local artists to sell their products whilst tempting visitors to extend their stay. A strong governance and social economy. In order for the 2030 strategy to be realized, a strong social and good governance program must be implemented. This must address the current social problems. In this regard, we must add to current support for the most vulnerable individuals and groups. On a positive note, the town has been identified as one of the safest towns in the country, which strengthens our brand. The establishment of early childhood centers and top quality private and public schools currently rated as some of the best in the country is a priority. Otuan has state-of-the-art healthcare facilities. In this regard, along with the tranquil environment, the town has tremendous potential to be the perfect place for retirement. We again extend the invitation to everybody to invest in the drive towards our common goal. An imperative is to explore investment opportunities and possible partnerships along the way. Working together to ensure fulfillment of our aspirations will mushroom out into even more projects and opportunities, leading to the Greater Otsuan being the preferred town where you can work, learn, play and prosper.